The year is 2019. The season is summer and the box office is in shambles. At least that's what a lot of people are currently thinking. As you remember from a previous video, which I will link in the description, I am currently in a vicious competition called the Summer Movie Wager. The Summer Movie Wager is through the Slash Film Cast, so go listen to them. Basically what you do is you try to figure out uh, what are the top 10 movies of the summer based off of domestic box office. And so I'm just going to give you a brief update. I've already went through what my choices are, um, but I'm going to give you an update of where we're at with that. So let's start off. Avengers Endgame. It's doing incredible. There's not a lot to talk about here other than every single record that's breaking. Now at the time I'm recording this, they are re-releasing it tomorrow with new footage. Um, I I think that's pretty much it. So it is definitely not going to beat domestic records set by Star Wars The Force Awakens, but it is about $40 million away from beating Avatar worldwide box office, which is a huge accomplishment. Now this re-release doesn't make it a shoe in so we're just going to have to wait and see. It's going to be close. But all that to say, Avengers Endgame is definitely the number one movie this summer, and yeah, we got it right, just like everyone else. Next up, Lion King hasn't come out yet, so I can't uh, speak too much about it, but I'm still confident it'll be number two. Toy Story 4. This is... Hmm... I still feel good about putting it at number three. I'm worried that Spider-Man Far From Home is going to take its spot, though. I think it did about $120 million, uh opening weekend, which was a little less than they projected. So I still think it's going to be up here. I, I don't think it's going to be Lion King, but again, we have no idea how Lion King is going to do. Uh, but it's going to be close, either third or fourth for Toy Story for sure. Like I said, Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, it's coming out next week, and I think this is going to be big. Uh, it's definitely going to be fourth, maybe third, hopefully fourth. Detective Pikachu did less than I wanted it to do. We scroll back up to the top here. It's currently losing to John Wick 3 and Aladdin, and it, there's no way it's going to pass either of those. So right now, it's sitting at $142 million, and it's probably going to drop. I would guess maybe seventh eighth maybe even ninth depending on some of these other movies do secret life of pets 2 one of the few movies on my list that i have not seen yet and also one of the few movies on my list that i probably won't ever watch put in sixth place uh it's a little high now seeing the actual box office numbers and again obviously like right now it's in the perfect spot but it's because we don't have a lot of the other movies again Movies like Aladdin, John Wick 3 that I had lower on the list are beating it, and it's probably going to stay somewhere in this range. Uh, and it's definitely not going to make more money than Detective Pikachu, so both of these are just going to slide down here somewhere. Godzilla 2, or Godzilla King of Monsters, the King of the Monsters. Also didn't see this movie. I probably will eventually, just it's not one I'm rushing to. I feel okay about 8th place, I, I think, um, but... When you look at, you know, the actual numbers, it's dropping down. I feel like it could just come in 10th place, honestly, because it's not going to pass any of the other movies that are already on this list. Number 9, Hobbs and Shaw hasn't come out yet. Uh, hoping it's going to make a lot of money. I, I feel like it could make more than Godzilla 2, maybe even more than Secret Life of Pets 2 and Detective Pikachu. But somewhere in the 7, 8, 9 range, I still feel pretty confident about. Men in Black International, complete flop. And this will not be a top 10 movie by the end of the summer. This is probably my biggest mistake. Currently has $56 million and it's been out for, I think, two weeks now. That's not good. Which is absolutely crazy because if you look, the first Men in Black, $250 million. Men in Black 2, $190 million. I hate how Men in Black 3 is like MIB3, yeah, so it just screws up every search result. But even that, $179 million. I was so confident this would be on the list, but $56 million is just, it's terrible. And granted, I did not watch this movie. Uh, I, I will at some point. Now, looking at it, I, it might be far in the future. But it's, and I guess everyone's on the same page as me because clearly no one is watching this movie. My Dark Horses are looking pretty solid right now. Rocket Man is currently on the top 10. Um, again, it's making a lot of money. I don't think it's going to stay there, however. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood hasn't come out yet, but, you know, I, it, it should make it. Dark Phoenix is not doing so hot. Just like Men in Black International, it was 
supposed to be much bigger than 61 million. The fact that an Elton John biopic is beating like the final chapter in what's been like 15 X-Men movies, that's crazy. But like I said, Dark Phoenix, Men in Black International definitely fallen down. So overall, I feel okay about my list. Take away Men in Black International and replace it with John Wick Chapter 3, which did much better than anyone thought they would do. Oh shoot, I completely missed Aladdin. How did I skip Aladdin? You guys let me skip Aladdin? Yeah, I literally just went from Secret Life of Pets 2 to Godzilla 2. Okay, let's go back to Aladdin. Aladdin is performing way better than I thought it would. And number seven, big mistake. Why did I think Detective Pikachu and Secret Life of Pets 2 would beat it? I don't know. Here we are sitting at nearly $300 million. This is... It's definitely going to take at least fifth place. Okay, so now let's actually wrap this up. Yeah, my list is okay. The way I see this playing out, I think Avengers Endgame is going to stay number one. Lion King is going to be at number two. I, I still think that. Toy Story 4 will pass John Wick. I mean, you can see it's only $2 million away, and it's been out for six days. So it's going to be way up there. Aladdin will probably slide down to number five, depending if Spider-Man can take number four. Then it'll be John Wick at six, Detective Pikachu at seven, Secret Life of Pets 2 at eight, Godzilla at nine, and I'm thinking Hobbs and Shaw 10th, but it could take ninth and put Godzilla at 10th. Overall though, I feel like a lot of movies are underperforming as a whole. Sure, you got Avengers Endgame and it's hard to talk about a failing box office summer with that movie in the same summer that's breaking all these records, but if you look at the rest of these movies, they're not making nearly as much money as they should have. Why is that? I don't know. I don't have enough information or insight to tell why people aren't going to the movies as often as they used to, but I do know that's throwing my predictions off and hopefully I can still have a pretty good list by the end of the summer. That's all I got here. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. hope you enjoyed talking about box office numbers. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Follow along. Keep up with what I'm doing here. And I will always see you next time.